impingement uh, is probably the most common cause of shoulder issues in any active population over 35 to 40. And then generally it's caused by repetitive overhead activities. So that repetitive injury, the uh, chromium bone presses on the rotator cuff, causes tendonitis, bursitis, and that presents as uh, pain with the repetitive issue that causes the problem. And then when it gets bad, the pain is actually worse at night. So a lot of times they can get through the day, but then when you go home at night, it's just this throbbing, aching discomfort that keeps them up. Well, for impingement, the non-operative options are, you know, rest. Anti-inflammatories are very, very helpful. And then icing, especially at night, for about a half an hour or so. And so that's stage one. Now, if it persists beyond that, then the next step is a cortisone shot. Um, if there's an element of stiffness, then we would often have, often have our radiologists do it under x-ray guidance so they can put it in the joint and in the bursa at the same time. If it's just in the bursa, it's fairly easy to hit in the office. Cortisone takes about five to seven days to work, so you actually have to continue the anti-inflammatories and the icing for that early period until the cortisone kicks in. And then I'll send them to physical therapy in the role of therapy is to restore motion and ultimately restore strength. People that don't do well after shoulder surgery are the people that probably didn't need it to begin with. And so for those folks, Folks who have truly failed a good conservative program and have gone through the steps, when they need the surgery, they really need the surgery and they are very happy. I think that we've been doing things uh, basically at the, uh, the cutting edge of technology. The bottom line is that we, we do just orthopedic surgery and we all are subspecialists, so we see tremendous volume. You know, the other thing at the Baptist we do a lot of is uh, we do a lot of revision surgery, and these are the most challenging cases because they've failed you know, options and treatment and are still having significant issues, and now we have to kind of figure out what's going on that didn't work so that we can do it better the second time. Whoever the patient comes to at the Baptist, uh, this is what they do. This is their primary function. If it's a shoulder problem, they're going to see a shoulder specialist. If it's a knee problem, they're going to see a knee specialist. That's the key is whoever you're seeing has just a, uh, a long experience in that one problem.